It is Wise Word Wednesday of Spirit Week. Yes. And I have the wonderful Wise. <laughs> no, no. Miss Boswell, your school counselor. And Miss Lindsay. And we have two of the very wise Indiana Jones uh -huh. who we know better as. Mr. Sizemore with CIS. <laughs> and we are coming to you from Support You News. Now, for you folks out there that are watching us this morning, we have a celebration. We have found the body. Yes. We found, I listen. We've located it here. We, right? we found it. We've reattached it. We yeah. got with it, Miss Rust, you know, the mad scientist, yeah. and she, she put it back really together yes, for us. exactly. Do you feel okay? A little Frankenstein-ish, but yeah. it's all good. Okay. Yeah. You're feeling long? all right. Maybe if I say wonky things, we'll yeah. know we'll why. why. We're yeah. Like, we'll know yeah. why. Yes, so. certainly so. And today is a fun day to Yeah. Yes. It is. Crazy. Hats and, and socks. funky socks. My socks, we tie-dyed this summer. We did some tie-dyeing at home, so I thought it was a good day to wear them. I, I like it, like it, like it. Yeah. Well, on cra half crazy sock day, I know I messed that up. Yes, it means we're bully-free yes. from head to toe. Oh, love Woo! it, love it. So we have two students that is going to help us or encourage us to remain bully-free, correct? Yes, yes, absolutely. And Wise Word Wednesday really works on what we would do in certain situations mm -hmm. through some sort of storytelling and how those situations teach us um, in some wise way how to respond in a situation that may be similar for you all. Yep. Yeah. Miss Lindsay, would you like to introduce our Absolutely. friends this morning? Absolutely. We have two wonderfully wise friends. We have Kaysen and Eva. Come on in Come and join us, guys. And say good morning to Stonewall. We are so happy yeah, that you guys morning. are here with us. Can you say good morning? Good, good morning. morning. Excellent. Are you guys ready to share some words of wisdom with us? Yes. Let's yes. get started, guys. All right, friends, so on Wise Word Wednesday, we have a story that Miss Lindsay is going to share with us, and maybe you guys can give us some good input into how you would respond in certain situations, okay? okay. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, this story is called The Lion and the Mouse. Once upon a time, deep in the African savanna, a curious mouse crawled up to a sleeping lion and sniffed at his great face. Suddenly, the lion's whiskers tickled the mouse's nose, and she sneezed. The lion awoke with a start. Seeing a mouse, he grabbed it up, his mighty paw, and looked at it, as one might look upon a soon-to-be-consumed snack. Please don't eat me, begged the mouse. I promise that I will repay your kindness someday. How could a tiny mouse help a lion? The great beast asked lazily. I don't know, but I will. I promise I will. The mouse replied shakily. The lion was not hungry, and this bold mouse amused him. With a laugh, he dropped the mouse, which scampered away as fast as she could. Some days later, while walking in the forest, the lion was caught in a hunter's trap. Great ropes fell all around him, and he could not free himself. His angry roars filled the forest, scaring the birds from the trees. The little mouse heard the sound and recognized it as the voice of the lion who had freed her. She ran quickly to where the lion lay helplessly entangled in the net. Don't worry, friend, she squeaked. I will help you as I promised. She began straight away to gnaw at the rope that connected the net to the trees. In the distance, she could hear the sound of the hunter's voices as they ran toward the roaring lion. Ever quicker, she gnawed until she broke the ropes free. The lion bounded off into the forest with the mouse clinging to his back. When they reached a quiet and safe place, the lion again held his small friend in his paw and looked at her as one looks upon someone who has saved one's life. Thank you, friend, he said. And indeed, the lion and the mouse remained friends until the end of their days. Now that is an unexpected friendship, isn't it? A lion oh, and a mouse, yeah. absolutely. Yes. Okay, so this is a story about, like you said, unexpected or unlikely friendships, right? So when is a time that you helped someone unexpectedly? Can you think of a time? 
maybe on the bus with some little people that you Ooh, don't know. Yes. Have you ever done that? The I bus is one of those places situation. where we frequently mm -hmm. need some help, right? My little sister. Your little sister? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. So what? Did, how did you unexpectedly help your little sister? When she couldn't read stuff, I helped her get it. Oh, yes. Absolutely, yes. And that's a great time where someone who is older or bigger can help mm -hmm. someone who is younger smaller. or smaller. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What about you, Kaysen? Have you ever helped one of our little people on the bus? You're such a good helper. I think that I've asked you for support and mm -hmm. help a number of times through these years, haven't I? Yes, yeah, so when's the time maybe you supported someone that you didn't quite expect to be supported? Okay, when's the time that you helped? Like in class, you mean? Okay. What did you help him with? Was it some kind of work? An assignment of some kind? I think it was work. Yeah, some kind of work. So sometimes, you know, we think that maybe our classmates know, know more or as much mm -hmm. as we do, and we might be they surprised might when too. they ask us for help. But you're exactly right. They might need help, too. Boys and girls, discuss this story in your class. It's such a good example. And if you've never helped someone ex unexpectedly, it may open your mind to be looking for those situations where you can be a help to someone and, and you're not even expecting to be helpful at that moment. So talk about it, write about it. We'd love to hear from you. We hope that you have a great um, hat and crazy yes. sock day. Remember, bully free from head to toe. Kind of like in our story, that lion could have been a big bully and he chose to be a yes. friend instead. Discuss it in your class and we'd love to hear from you. Have a great Bye. Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Bye.